mission of Surf Aid International, a non-profit humanitarian aid organization, is to improve the health of people living in isolated regions connected to us through surfing. My name is Dr. Dave Jenkins. I'm the founder and medical director of Surf Aid International. We have offices in New Zealand, Australia and America to fundraise for programs in Indonesia, specifically the islands of Nias and the Mentawes off Sumatra. One of the very privileged things that occur when you enter into this work is that you work with communities who still are in the presence of themselves, are so strongly linked to where they've come from. And there's still very much family and tribal uh, clans. And that gives them a, an ease of being. And it teaches me every day I live in those villages. That's a lesson for me to how to be. So awesome to think that Surf Aid is helping out these people. And these people can look at surfers, the surfing world, as a, as a, as a giving people that care. You know, and that's, that's what I want surfers to be known for. Surf Aid was started in the year 1999, and really 2001 we started preventable health programs, largely malaria control using education and mosquito nets, and building the local health department's capacity to deliver immunizations. We were having a significant success with that and we're in the process of expanding from the pilot programs of two large villages up to 23 villages when the tsunami struck. Because of our positioning in the islands and our staff and our offices and our really strong linkages with the surf industry, both the global industry and the local industry who had begun to support us, we were able to respond to the emergencies in the islands off Sumatra, uh, Similu, Banyak, Salos and Nias, and get in with boats to uh, villages that no other agency could get into. So this was a massive expansion and I guess it was a defining moment for Surf Aid. Our capacity and our ability and our culture and ethos was clearly demonstrated. When you see Surf Aid walk up, you know, the kids, definitely light up and, and actually have hope and can see you know, the future being better for them. The children are dying from a combination of malaria, poor hygiene and sanitation, poor nutrition, measles, chest infections and diarrhea. 90% of these conditions can be prevented. Past all the trees and past all the, the beautiful landscape and, the, and everything, there's a whole there's a whole population stricken by disease. Malaria is a parasite that eats human blood. Mosquito nets have been well proven to be one of the most cost effective interventions in reducing death and human suffering. So we began a malaria program in two villages. Those villages had endemic malaria. Their rates are now down after a four year program. Having learned that, we are now taking that program to scale and believe that eradicating malaria from the Mentawe Island chain is now possible. I think that the most important element of, of, of surf aid is the educational component. Teaching people the origin of the disease, teaching them um, the prevention, teaching them to teach others, to teach the next generation. So this little uh, boy is typical of children or some children in the Mentawes. He is living on a diet of taro uh, and banana and sometimes rice. And he gets a little bit of uh, vegetables once every two or three weeks. And it's clearly insufficient. And it's almost certainly affected the brain development. But one of the objectives of Surf Aid is to correct this type of uh, madness. It will be difficult, but uh, we hope in the future there will be no genades and all the children here are going to school reaching their full IQ and their full potential. You can tell by measuring the arm at the mid-arm circumference here, I can tell already that this child is malnourished and I can tell that they're anemic. And these are the children that when malaria or cholera or chest infections come to town, these are the ones that will often die first. There's nothing more devastating than seeing people without hope. 
we create in the villages engines of change. The village begins to realize that they can change their situation. They don't need to sit around and watch their children die. You can walk in our pilot program villages now and you can palpably feel the difference. So this is a little girl, three years old, and this is one of our strategies, it's called Positive Deviance. She's doing really well. She's obviously strong and got reserves. And this is in the same village as there are children with really gross malnutrition that are at severe risk of dying from uh, illness, from their weakness. And just a five minute conversation with uh, Ibu, the mother, will tell you, this child's having three eggs a week, fish very frequently, three or four types of greens, uh, coconut oil and cream, and that's the difference. And that's all resources that can be got from this village free of charge, either caught or grown. So um, that's our mission, to make uh, most of the children within the next few years look like this one. It really is a simple thing to help Surf Aid do what they do, which is save lives. We're a group that are running a highly effective, transparent and fully accountable organisation that is driven by the heart but takes a very scientific and calculated approach that has to deliver lasting change. We're not ever going to accept or compromise on that principle. Actually now, just to see that there's, it's not just an idea, that, that, that there is change happening, to have helped in any way is a big honor. I'm excited about the future. Everyone out there can make a difference of what's going on. Um, and that's, that's the bottom line. Help us in the fight against malaria. Log on to www.surfaidinternational.org. Surfaid International, saving lives every day.